Hey there everybody, my name is Saro and I create free content on data engineering. And in this video, we will learn about the branch Python operator in Airflow. There may be scenarios in which you'd want to run only some Airflow tasks in a DAG and not all of the tasks. And in order to determine which tasks to skip during a DAG run, we will use XCOMS to let the tasks communicate with each other. A DAG like that can easily be built using a combo of branch Python operator and XCOMS where XCOMS can be used to let the tasks communicate with each other by sending messages and the branch Python operator can be used to determine which tasks to run and which ones to skip. Now let's dive in and figure out how to exactly implement that. <laughs> So let's set the scene by sharing my screen. So let's imagine a scenario. So let's assume that there's this DAG that automates a social media workflow. So what do I mean by that? So let's assume there's this social media influencer or company who wants to figure out if they should run an ad campaign or not based on the number of weekly views on their YouTube channel or Instagram page. So the first task here is a get YouTube data task and then followed by a pre-process task. So get YouTube data gets the data and then pre-processing is done. And then the third task is make weekly views prediction. Now that, that task could be a machine learning code that predicts the number of views on the channel or page for the next week. And as you can see, the task after that is a branch Python operator, and it's connected to two downstream tasks. Depending on the logic of the branch Python operator, only one, only one out of the two downstream tasks can run. So let's say, for example, if there's a views threshold, and if the threshold is 3,500 views in the branch Python operator task, so that means if predicted views is less than 3,500, then the run ad campaign needs to run. Otherwise, the end task would run. Okay, so now let's check out how to implement that in Airflow code. So I'll go back to PyCharm, and here is the DAG. And yeah, like I was saying, the very first two tasks are dummy operators, right? And then the next task is the make weekly views prediction task which is calling a Python function called predict views. So let's check out the function definition of predict views. So as you can see, it's returning a dictionary. What's that dictionary? So each element has a key whose keys are video IDs and the values are the weekly views. And this is where XCOM comes into the picture, right? So the return value gets stored or gets pushed to XCOM. Now we will very soon see how we can pull that XCOM data when we look at the next task. Now a bit about XCOMS. So I want to briefly touch on what exactly happens when something is pushed to XCOMS. Well, XCOMS is literally a Postgres table. So Airflow has a metadatabase where it stores all the metadata that it needs. That is right. So let me show you the ER diagram from the Airflow official documentation. This is the ER diagram for the metadatabase, which is a Postgres database. And if I keep scrolling down, as you can see, there's so many tables here. But there should be an XCOM table. There it is. So when our function returns that dictionary, that dictionary gets stored in this particular table, the XCOM table. Okay, moving on back to the code. So the next task is a branch Python operator, which is calling another Python function. And it's called branch func. So if we go back into the definition, as you can see, so the XCOM lives in a context dictionary called quarks. And we are pulling the XCOM data in line number 23. And what XCOM data are we pulling? we are pulling the XCOM data of the task make weekly views prediction. So we are passing a dictionary and we are calculating the average views from the dictionary. And that's where the threshold that I was talking about, if it's less than 3,500, it will return run add campaign string. It's a string, but it's actually the ID of the next task that it wants to run. And else it will run the stop task task. Okay, so if it's a bit overwhelming, let me try to summarize. So every task in a DAG can pull the XCOM data for any other task in the same DAG. Now in our case, here's what the branch Python operator is doing. So it's pulling data from the XCOM of the predict views task, and then it does some processing on it. Like we saw, it's calculating the average, and then it returns the name or the ID of the next task that it wants to run. So now let's run the DAG. Okay, so now it's running. 
Cool. So what happened here? So the end task was skipped and it ran the run ad campaign. So that was the data driven decision made by the branch Python operator. So now let's look at why did it do that? Yep. So the average was 3327. So which was less than the threshold of 3500. So that's why the run ad campaign task was run. Simple. And that is it for this video, everybody. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments section or you can also message me on Instagram. Otherwise, click here to watch the next video where I talk about how to handle errors and set up failure alerts in Airflow. Until next time, peace.